I feel ugly and bloated and gross and sick and... Well, you're none of those things except sick. I feel really fat lately. And I know I know I can't help it because of the deficiency, but it's like Well, I am helping it technically by taking my vitamin mm -hmm. every Thursday. That's true. I'm glowing. I don't feel glowy. You're pregnant, Shannon. <laughs> I love you. God. I'm too old to be pregnant, honey. I, know, I love you. I know you. that. I know it. I love you. I know that. I know. I'm 40 years old. I don't want to pop out another baby. Well, when I think of women looking like they're glowing, I think pregnant woman. That yeah, they, they that, that's blow. how that's how I feel, too. But, like I said, I'm I'm 40 years old. I don't I don't I don't want to pop out another baby. Fair enough. No, nah, that's something 20, 30 year olds yeah. do. Women in their forties is when they they retire from uh that yeah child rearing you have babies at the age of like I think Ken and Mary it's perfect time twenty thirties yeah late twenties into your thirties is when you have kids. It's like the Cheers. Best. He, you, and Rev's baby would be super based, so yeah, I know. Ah, uh -huh. you have no idea how much I wanted that, but whatever. Dude, if I did end up pregnant, we would we would break the internet. Probably. Oh, they'd be so pissed. But then again, I don't want to go through what I went through over again with CPS and stuff. Yeah. Uh. Because it's hard having children when you're online. Yeah, you do. No, if we, if you got pregnant, we would leave the internet. Yeah. I, I would insist on that. It, Actually. It, yeah. We would completely leave the internet. Pr protect the babies. Yes. Without a doubt. I don't want to go through that stuff again. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We would have to really locate to somewhere completely different and hunkered down no online activity yes like none none uh, if we could Zero. disappear that's we're disappearing <sighs> that would be wonderful <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly that we got to listen to the radiohead song over and over again uh -huh. uh, how to dis how to disappear completely that's a fucking great song by the way okay mm -hmm. That will, you're smoking some stuff, you listen to that, you're going to go place. You are. You're going to float. Mm -hmm. You're going to float a bit. Huh? Radiohead. They're a great band. Oh, God, I, I dissociated. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. That's been happening to me lately. It's a lot of disassociation. You have had that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Maybe. I don't know what to say. Oh my God, I don't know what to say. I used to be a ram, a professional rambler. Now it's like uh, ba -ba 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 ba ba My brain is gone. It's it's it, it lacks. <sighs> it lacks the practice of the ramble. I think, because like literally, when I'm offline, I'm quiet. I just don't talk really. I don't. And I've been doing that more and more lately is not talking to anyone. And I really have to try to get myself out of that rut. 
of not wanting to talk to people. But how do you do it when you've been so fucking damaged by yeah, people? Yeah, and it's like you're it's like you're some kind of weird uh sideshow freak uh in, in like a circus and people come and look at you in a window. You know what I mean? That's how you feel after you've been through this shit with people. With yeah. hate with the haters. You feel like a sideshow freak. <laughs> That's, That's how I feel, honestly, a lot of the times. That's how I feel. A sideshow freak. Yeah. Like, I don't even... I'm not treated like I'm a person, really, by a lot of people. So it's like... But I am. There's people that love you. Uh, I know. There absolutely. are people who do love me. There are. And care for me. Yep. And I love you guys, too. Do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're everything. But the majority... Hmm. I'm treated like I'm some joke. Like, I'm always treated like I'm some abusive woman that Jason can't stand. And I hate feeling like that and, and being treated like that because it's not the truth. No. And every time I speak out, it's always positive towards you because it is always positive. You're, you're there. It, look. Sometimes you'll catch something on a live stream that's like, oh, he was pissed off or something. No. I have a way of expressing myself because I happen to be bipolar. And that, and sometimes my emotions can manifest in a way that looks negative, but it's just what the way I am sometimes. Yeah. It's, not, it's not personal against Shani in any way. I, I, I would be like that with anybody. Like, I just have moments like that. Um, it's part of having what I got. And my therapist told me that. She said, you, 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 you want to improve your behavior always, yes. But there's a certain level that's always going to be there. And you just got to learn to not act out. That's what it, it's all about, not acting out. And you, correcting bad behavior. Yeah, and, and, and correcting an, uh, uh, perceptions which can come to a mind that of an isolated person because I was isolated too. So I can have these things of like, oh, that person's making fun of me. And they weren't. Like I've had that all my whole life. I, I, I would think like I'd hear somebody talking in the background. It's all oh, they're talking about me. Like that's just that type of shit, you know, and, and then feeling slighted. That can make you act a certain way. And, and with bipolar, it can come out as fucking straight anger. Just, I'm going to fuck you up. Like, the, it can, that can happen. Me, it's... It, what people like doing is these little cheap shots and digs into me. Mm -hmm. And it's just like... Slights. Yeah, like, what the fuck did I ever do to any of you people who fucking slight me? You exist. That's... Like, holy shit. They're I would never treat someone like that who... who who I've never, who's never done anything to me like that. Well, Book of Elon thinks you're a person, so that's good. I know, man. That's good. Thank you. Like, there, there comes a point where you have to really question yourself. What the fuck is wrong with you? Where you're hating on someone you don't even know. No. And, Just and because what... you see someone on a camera talking... And 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 just because you see someone talking and 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 you talk back to them sometimes, does not mean you know that person. No. All you know is a face with an opinion. And a screen name. That that's literally all you know. And what we choose to tell you about our lives. But but you guys just the the hater crew the reaction crew. <laughs> They, they'll just, they'll literally make a narrative completely whole cloth out of nothing. They'll, they'll just start new with a new script and create something completely false. And that's really hard to deal with because if you want to do this stuff, if you want to be a streamer for a living, if you get blacklisted in this way, it destroys your chances of doing it. They ban your platform. It doesn't only do that. It destroys your confidence and your drive and mm -hmm. makes you question everything. Yeah. 
And it makes you extremely antisocial because you get to the point where you think everybody is not real. Yeah. Everybody is filled with uh, vitriol and shit. And, and you walk away. Yeah. You walk away from humanity. Yeah, because it makes you feel like everyone's fake. and Yeah. And they just have this angle where they want to get one up on you. And it's just like... I don't want to get a one up on anyone. I just want to be able to just be me. Yeah. And and be able to thrive being me without some person trying to tear me down. Yeah. And it, it just seems like that's been my whole life with people is like, I'm getting somewhere in life and then there's someone, someone that comes in play that, tears me down as a person and I have to restart all over again and it's not just online it's other parts of my life where I felt this way repeatedly in my life yeah and when you experience these things and slighted repeatedly in life you really don't want to be part of society that's it and the goal of the people that i believe the goal of the people that have done this stuff is to isolate you further yeah that's the goal because but, you can get so isolated that you you start pushing away the like few people that are left in your life yeah you choose to be isolated instead of it, like it starts out being forced to be isolated yeah and then it turns to be choosing to be isolated because it's a lot more mentally safer for you yeah to be isolated than to be thrown out there with people who just want to tear you up yeah and deliberately fake being your friend and stab you in the throat you know like who the fuck wants to live that life that's like that's like job with with all of these guys coming into him and he's sick and they're all just like well you're a fucking retard job we never really liked you anyway and we're definitely not going to say this is isolated to us no only no no this is every person who's a celebrity in some way shape or form Mm. experiences this it's a specific I, I put us in the thing with, like, Skippy. It's like, we're not as big of a celebrity as him. But it's that type, it's a crew. We're we're Chantal. But we're, when you can relate with celebrities and what they go through yeah. more than the, the regular Rump. Joe, mm-hmm. you know you have a problem. I, well, yeah. We didn't get the opportunity to make, like, five million. And yeah, just do what we want. Yeah. I didn't get the fortune with fame. No, no. Other people took my fame and and made fortunes off me. Yeah, but I never partook in it. No. So then you're in a spot where you're blacklisted. A lot of people look at you a certain way already, but you're not able to exist in what you were doing before because they ban your shit everywhere. And you're definitely not able to exist in society because of all this shit that's written about you on the internet. Yeah. So, it's like, like... It's like life ending. Yeah. It's life ending. When you go... When you... When you get, you've been in this circle of people that it's like just pot shots. They take pot shots at you all day, every day. You're done. Like, in society, you're looked at as almost a joke. That's just the way it is. And you have so many people tell you you don't you don't deserve to eat or yeah. live or have a job mm-hmm. or be able to thrive. You don't deserve happiness. Which you don't bullshit. deserve joy. I've had people tell me that. Yeah, I've seen it. You know how mentally abusive that is to tell someone is you don't deserve love or joy or friendship with anyone? Yeah. And they can't even give a reason why I don't deserve it. They just say you don't deserve it. (laughs) 
Well, that's real convenient to just say that about somebody just because you like disagree with them. Yeah, because you have a different opinion than me about something that I'm going to say you shouldn't exist. Well, well, that's... Uh, you don't deserve existence. You don't deserve to be able to prosper in life. Because I don't like who you are. You know? That's some fucked up shit. That don't make any sense. Yeah. And we're not allowed to thrive in this world. Yeah, it's like a human right, Michelle. Yeah, it's like everybody deserves the opportunity to thrive and do what they can do to 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 thrive and survive. But we're not allowed to. No. No, we can come on here and have whatever this is and it's not it's it's nice to have nice people and stuff. But is this monetizable? I don't know. In the outside world, can we get jobs? No. This is real. It's a whole deal. And then you get online and there's these things that claim to help you find jobs. And it's all stuff that just, it's, it's, it's data mining. It's data mining. They just want your cell phone number to spam your phone with ads. It's not job opportunities. That's what I'm saying. I, I want to, I just, like, I go out here and I'm, I'm, I'm pounding the pavement. Every place I go, I ask about employment. And it's all like, we'll get back to you. We'll talk to you. We'll get, we well, you got your number. Da, 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 da. Okay, that's fucking great. And then the internet's a bunch of scam bullshit. So why look at it, look for a job on, you, forget it, going online it, to me. It's like, no, it's, it's, oh, it's going to ask for my phone number. Here's my phone number. And then I get a bunch of fucking ads in text. Yeah, go out there. You got to pound pavement and keep asking. That's all you can do. But whatever. It's fucking dog shit. I want to be a streamer. I want to have a YouTube channel where I'm doing commentary. Me too. Like, Why can't I have that? Why can't I have it? You want to talk some? Why you put yourself on? Why can't I have the ability to thrive when everyone else has that opportunity? Yeah. I mean, even Chantal got her fucking play button. Yeah, why do I have to be blacklisted? Because of a bunch of competitive, talentless losers want to take what I gave them. And run with it in a completely opposite direction of who I am as a person. Yeah. It's a mess. And you try to get a lawyer to sue these people for defamation, you can't find one. And you should be able to. Because we are literally are and have been defamed for years by people. Defamed, dehumanized. Treated like we're not people with feelings. Treated like we're villains. Treated like we're like we're these monsters, like we're these criminals, and we're not. I'd love to have my life back the way I wanted it to be and not have it stolen from me and taken from me because of a bunch of people with shitty fucking attitudes who wants to hurt people for their content. Yeah. And they know what they're doing. They know what they did. I go up her. We're, we're, we're just. And they're too cowardice. Ruminating. To admit it. To admit what kind of scumbags they are.
Yeah. I mean, a lot of what they did to us was just either take situations that were uh, minor and blew them up to something that was insane uh, or just outright lies. Most of most of it's just lies, mm. just bullshit. And half truths. Yeah, people do love to hate. That's fucking. But a half truth is a lie. Mm. Yeah, that's right. I've been having massive gas issues with my fucking car because the gas is four dollars a gallon. So if you want to help us out in donations, you can pop some money in our donation things that are in our description. I'd appreciate you. Because he is legitly looking. Yeah, I am. I am. Every time I go out, I'm asking, dude, wherever I'm at, we'll get back to you. Great. Thank you. Like, how many times do you have to ask someone for a job before they're like, oh, yeah, they look like they'll be a good employee to no, hire? I don't know the answer to that. I don't. When you have all these other scumbag workers who get their jobs so easily. Yeah, it's weird, man. And they're shitty fucking employees. They're not good what they do either, no. They're miserable, man. So a lot of them are just, like, barely, like, there. Like. Yeah, I know. You walk in the store and they're like, well, what the fuck do you want? That's how they treat you, some of them, you know? That person should be fired. What do you want? Ooh. You know? You can't treat a customer that way. I don't know. I came into this store for a reason. Maybe to purchase something. Maybe I won't, you know, spend money here anymore. How's that? Would you like that? Well, I don't care. They, 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 this person that I'm talking about, there's a person I'm thinking about right now. Okay? They'd probably say, I don't give a shit about this fucking stupid job. I'll go to Ace Hardware or something. Like, which they're paying like fourteen fifty there, apparently. It's a Gavin butt. fourteen fifty. That's a boy butt. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. He's like, okay, I'll move. I'll move. My butts. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute, guys. <laughs> Gavin keeps getting cuter every day. I, am I clean when I'm applying? I, I'm no, he comes in. Like he goes clean. in with dirt all over his face. I'm like, I'm, I'm clean. Like, I'm clean, guys. I. When have you ever seen me look like filthy? <laughs> Like, never do. I'd stay positive. That, yeah, thank you for that. We love Gavin around here. I might clean when I'm applying. Is our being pod? Devil's knocking on your door. People looking for inspiration, too. Yeah, I hear you. I, and, and, and I've been really trying to do that. Every time I come on, I want to talk about Jesus and be positive. I do. But, but it's tough when you're struggling financially to have your mind fully in Jesus and God all the time because there's stressors, constant. Look at the boy. He's like, I want to be on camera. This is a baby. He's purring. Uh-oh, he might want to go to mommy. Does he want to go to mommy? This is your boy. Gavin gets views. Look at the views. You get all the views, Gavin. Gavin gets all the views. You get all the views. Hi, Dissection Girl. Hi, Ky Kyla. Beautiful boy. I like that name, Kyla. Where's Watermelon? I don't She's know. around. Gavin's going to start getting agitated. He's like, I want mommy. Have you tried Indeed? Just got an interview first day. I used it. I, I am. Shani can tell you because she looks at my emails and say Indeed's all throughout my stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You got to watch her. I'm sick of dealing with stuff on the internet. I want to get a job in person. Like the, the, the these apps, there's like Monster, which is cool, but there's like Park paying for that. 
I want to walk into a place, get an application, fill it out and go, okay, you got the job. Thank you. Like that's how it was. And I'm sure it still is, but it's just not working out for me that way. So I just got to figure this shit out, man. I didn't have to do this as a fucking, I never had to do this. Okay. That's just where I'm at. It's the way I grew it up. It doesn't it's, work that way anymore, though. That's what they said. in pavement. Yeah, you have to do it online. Do it online. And then, okay, well, I'll go online. I'll go apply for a job at Walmart. I pull up the Walmart thing. It says zero jobs in your area available. Great. You know, you mean to tell me there's not one position available at Dixon City Walmart. You're full of shit. There's no way. They got to have at least a fucking position to do carts or something. Jesus. I'm done. It's so annoying. Though. That's annoying. Uh, working with a potential fiend. Yeah, so uh, th that was already... I, I was working at Burger King, Elon. And, and there were females there. Yeah, it's... it's, no, it's Jesus Christ. What kind of person do you think I am, Elon? I have a You see, it's it's digs like that that pisses me off. Huh? Yeah. Little digs like that. I know. Well, I don't know. I... Why am I so misunderstood in a way? My my resume actually looks really good because I have business ownership in it. What about landscaping? Oh my god, give me a break. I'm not I have not given up. But I want to do something that I want to do. And food service is not part of that. It's not. I, I Especially with shit managers, <laughs> which most of them are shit. Work at a gas station. <laughs> How many times have you applied? That's it. That's one of them. Every single day. I put in three applications. Three. I wouldn't want my man working with a bunch of chicks. It's it's called work. It's work, yeah. That's really see. She, it's work. It's really fucking. I'm dumb. cleaning a laundry mat for ten dollars an hour. God bless you, Kyla. I that's cool. I mean, that's a gig. Ten bucks an hour. You should be getting more than ten an hour, though. Yeah, I get jealous if my hubby was working with a bunch of hot young women. There's what the fuck can you do with where I'm going to be working? I'm going to be working mainly with kids because I'm going to be getting an entry-level job somewhere. So it's going to be 16, 17-year-old girls. They're not looking at me. And it, well, they might, but that's not the point. I'm not looking for that. I'm not looking. I got her. She's my girl. Why? It, the problem would be with me if I was looking. I'm not. So it's not an issue, you know? They hit on me. Yeah, women hit on I get hit on a lot, okay? That's not a big deal. You know, I look a certain way. I got a certain fucking aesthetic so that, that some chicks find really hot, and they hit on me. Yeah. What's the big deal? It's, that's just part of being human, you know? I remember in Colorado when Shani was rocking her shit and she was feeling good because she had her THC and she was feeling good and she was all dressed up. Guys literally have their tongues hanging out at her. And and how do I feel? Yeah, she's really hot. But, the I'm, you know, I wasn't confident at that time. I had that wet brain so bad, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I didn't know where I was half the time. So I was getting paranoid about her cheating all the time. Absolutely, because I see these guys just literally like dogs. I'm not that type with of person. Their, their, it doesn't matter. It was what was going on in my head. You know? I, you were very attractive, and, and you were accumulating looks. And guys, they, some of these guys in the dispensaries would hit on her so bad it was ridiculous. Just right in front of me, they'd be fucking hitting on her. Clearly. But it's like a vegetable, you know? It's like Ozzy. So I get that the jealousy thing can happen, but it's work. You're there to make a paycheck, not find a 17-year-old girl. 
that's, that's not my it, motivation. You'd be in jail if you did that. Yes. Well, it's gross. It's like dating William. Same age. I know. But put whatever. it in that perspective. Whatever. The, the, the point is, is you're at work. They're, they're asking, uh, surrounded by hot young women. That's not why you're there. The reason you're there is to make a paycheck. And if, and, if, and if some young girls are hitting on you and stuff, if you can't take that and just take it for what it is and move on, then you're not an adult. You're a child, mentally. Ugh. You know? So there's some people in the audience that I really want not some liking. banning. I, I think so. Ban hammers, ban whoever you want. Go okay. for it. Pop them. You know? No negativity bullshit. We're not going to go for the Yeah, I'm, I'm done with the lowbrow shit. Yeah, we're not doing negativity. It just... That doesn't work. We have to come on here and talk about some shitty shit sometimes. Sorry. But we're not going to do... I'm not going to be disrespected like that. No. No. If you're going to come in the chat with stuff that's flinging mud, you're just going to be gone. Because we don't deal with that shit. We can't deal with that stuff. It's been forever for us dealing with that. And I'm not doing it anymore. No. They are getting more and more followers. Congratulations. Who? Who? Mm -hmm. Don't matter to me who's getting followers. I don't give a shit who's getting followers. At all. It's not about us. No. You know, as somebody said, oh, why, why do you have to keep bringing up different hater names and stuff? It's because they're already talking about us. I love Pickles. That's why. Pickles are awesome. I like gherkins, the sweet gherkins. Sweet gherkins? Yeah, they're my favorite. Um, no, I like I like more savory dill. You're into the Jewish kosher dill. Yes. Yeah, you're right. They're really good too though. I can't really see chatters how many people are in here. Nah, it's eleven people. It's, it's like it's not many people. Not many at all. But they, they, they gank our stream, and then they steal our viewers. And... Oh, we're getting more followers. Well, that's awesome. Oh, cool. Awesome. All right, cool. That's beautiful. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, it was like, a, negativity comes in, and it can really fuck with your head. Bad. Yeah, I'm just, I don't want to deal with it anymore. <laughs> and people always being like, well, you know, Rev, you can find another woman than Shani. And, and I've made it clear every time. Like, I feel bad for for your partners that have in, in your life because it's obvious you look at people as replaceable mm -hmm. to whatever your need is at the time. They don't figure in love. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 no. fr and frankly, I wouldn't want those people around me anyway who are like that, who, who are willing to be like, oh, you, you should change partners. Yeah. Yeah. How about this? Maybe you should get an STD because that's what changing partners creates is STDs. Idiot. There you go. You might make it clear. You know, I'm committed to you. So comments like that are just literally throwaway comments. There's why. Thank you, sir. That's all there is to it. You know, I'm committed to Shani and I love her. Period. And I love Jason. There you go. I don't want anyone else. That's the way that shit works. That's how it works. We're committed to one another. That means no one else. And if there was an opportunity for someone else, there wouldn't be anyone else because we're not given anyone opportunities. That's what it means. It means we're not looking to upgrade or downgrade or whatever you weird people like to do to other people. 
yeah. and treat them as commodities and people who, who you can replace and 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 you know you you do better if you did all that I mean, all what, the what shit. is do better what is do better you know what i mean like that's a stupid fucking what's your metric for doing better yeah and how can you judge someone who you just know from the internet about what's better for that person when you're not even in their life personally it doesn't that that's a yeah. very the trading Dumb. up and stuff like that you know what i mean when they when somebody says oh trade it up they're literally pretty much almost 100 percent of the time talking about the outward looks yeah that's what they're talking about that's all they care about is looks uh, but but what if the personality of the person that you went to is far worse than the one that you were with then you're trading down yeah, maybe they have a good outward appearance, but their yeah, personality yeah, is shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He could look like Sam Ascari, but his personality is like Dahmer. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's extreme, but <laughs> you could have an extremely good looking person and they're just completely shallow and have no mind to talk to you. Like, that's the deal. And that's the thing with under eight, with with younger girls. Why the fuck would any guy want to be with a sixteen or fifteen year old girl? They're they're children. You should look at them as your daughter. They they're not developed mentally yet fully. Some of them want to fuck, yeah, definitely. But that's where that line goes. Are you an adult? You're, an, you're a responsible adult, right? That's right. We don't do statutory rape. No, we don't. But See? yet, they want to promote it to you. Of course. These weird fucking trolls. Like, it's an okay thing to do. And then they Never. question our morality while they're saying these outrageous, immoral, illegal things. Yeah. Well, isn't that funny? The people that are uh, slandering two people that don't do nothing to no one are the ones talking about, uh, are, are the ones doing illegal shit. Yeah. And encouraging people to do illegal shit. Isn't Hi, that... Marissa. What's up? Like, I, I just like, the hypocrisy of these people on on the internet talking shit about others all the time, you know, and choosing whoever it is. They, they want to, you know, victimize mm -hmm. at the moment. Yeah. The hypocrisy, they, they like, they're a horrible person, but they can't see the horrible things they do to others themselves. Cat and Ahab, you're amazing. We love you. And your Kit Kat picture is adorable. I love your Kit Kat picture. We seem tense today. If, if, if I look. Oh, I'm in horrible pain today. I will say Can that. Can I just say one thing uh, to, to Captain Ahab? Yeah. Thank you for that. If you want to help it one more time, you can, because the gas thing is crazy. It's $4 a gallon here. It's the wars, isn't it? It's so bad. This economy is the worst that I have. I probably, okay, 2008 George Bush, George W. Bush economy. That. You put, yes. what was it, $20 the other day in your tank? I, uh, and gone already. No, it's not gone, gone, but it's getting there. It's crazy. Yeah, indeed. Yes. Oh, Bobby. Hey, you're amazing. You've helped. I God just bless your heart. You're so kind. And we love you. It's, it's, it, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to make it without you. There's no way. We're having a hard time making it, period, man. What? It's money. It's so, everything is so expensive. It, 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 I, it's something needs to be done to ease this shit. Yeah, we were rich. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, that's because rich is a gauge anyway. Okay. I don't, I, I don't I, want to talk about my finances like that. And no, we weren't rich. Obviously. It's a scam. It's all a scam. This whole world is a I scam. I didn't say it's a scam. I said it's a scale. Oh. Well, wealth. Oh. It's all relative. 
No, I'm just I'm just angry at this world. Yeah, you are. You definitely are. And I feel the anger too, huh? Very angry at this world. I say the number one issue on the planet is exploitation of women. I'm sta- yeah. I'm standing on that. That is the biggest problem this planet faces as a society. Look how they exploited me and ruined me as a person. Yeah, you're one case in so many. Yes. I know. And they, they laugh about it. They get off on it. They 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 like that. They like seeing women struggling and hurting. That's correct. That's why they go after Amberlynn and mm-hmm. and Foodie Beauty and how many other females they've gone after? They got a few more that they're pushing out there, and it's so Jojo gross. Siwa. That's because because really... she made a video where she showed her lesbianism off. She ruined her career by being a lesbian. Huh? Yeah, I know. Okay. She's growing up too fast. She's 21 years old. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. How's your pain been, honey? Mine? Yeah. Bad. It's in my hips. And my knees. And my lower back. And it's been like that for days where it's just like... And I get so exhausted from the pain so fast. Where I'm just constantly knocking out. Oh, well, that would be legit. No, she ruined her career by marketing someone else's intellectual property. Well, that would be legit. <laughs> that would be a legit bad thing, for sure. As far as I know about JoJo why she's selling bows and dresses. Yeah. The unicorn dress, yeah, that was great. JoJo why unicorn dress. I'm internet. <laughs> I you don't need to send shit to us, but there are kind people that know that we actually are struggling really bad, and they choose to help us, and we love them because they're everything. They're they're why we survive. Really, she stole someone's song and said it was hers. Oh, that. Oh, okay. That's been done in the music business for so ma- so many times. I was like, yeah, but that's shitty to do. You know, it is. That's not good behavior. <laughs> well, that's what. Beyonce built her career on is stealing other people's music and styles. That's true. And the Beach Boys with Charlie. Yeah, the Beach Boys Uh, stole Charlie Manson's intellectual property. That's gross. But she would have made her money anyway because she's got a very bubbly personality. She's fun. And she's different. She would have had the money anyway. They would have wanted to make bows with her name on it anyway. She's got a personality. She's cool. I like JoJo Ziwa. She's neat. She stole someone's intellectual property. And that everyone's sucks. All crazy. No, that's a bad it. thing. And it she is. should say sorry. But, she should. She should. But apologize. they shouldn't crucify her but for don't that. Don't crucify her for that. Don't cancel her for you that. You should crucify Beyonce. She does it. Mm-hmm. You should crucify Bill Gates. He does it. Yeah. Apple. All of them. All YouTube. They all steal people's intellectual properties. But yet, people follow them. Yeah. We're trying to, we're, we're doing our best to have a good day, you know. Am I having a good day? I'm. I'll be honest, it's been a very long time. It's been like three, four years since I've actually had weed. Actual weed. Yeah. Yeah, a long time. Long time. And I wouldn't mind having actual weed. All that we have had is trace amounts of THC that's that's embedded in the Delta the, 8. Which the Delta is 8 CBD. It's 0.3%. It's nothing. You know? No. Uh, thank you. The hat. You like the hat? You could find the hat on Amazon. Uh, it's a Rasta hat, but it has fake dreads in it. And we cut the <laughs> fake dreads out. I want to go... I want to go, what was I going to say? YouTube isn't stealing intellectual property because you enter into an agreement. That's true. That's true. 
they pretty much own your content if you're making YouTube. Yep. Well, is JoJo Siwa really stealing someone's intellectual property if she bought it from a studio? What's up, Toon Bear? Good to see ya. Uh, yeah. Who really owns it? Who owns it? They sign agreements, all of them. Yeah, exactly. And they say, I sold my soul to the devil. Some of them say that. So who really owns their music? Michael Jackson did not own his music. No. He didn't. He owned the Beatles catalog, though. He bought the Beatles catalog, Michael Jackson. But he didn't own his own music, really. That's crazy. She misrepresented that she wrote the song. Yeah, that's wrong. And she should apologize. But Yeah, I don't think she should be crucified she over should it not or be hated over it. She should not or hated, no. No. Just apologize. I screwed up. She told everyone she wrote it herself. Did she or did people say she did? I just, I think it's such a petty thing that it just... I... Well, people sing other people's songs. If you do it without permission, it's not okay. That's true. And then to claim you wrote it too? That's yeah, pretty shitty. Yeah, I know. That's pretty I just... shitty. Yeah. But you shouldn't be canceled. There's no way she should be canceled. No, I don't think she should be hated at. Hated by the whole world because of that. Yeah, it's not okay. I agree. No, it's not okay, but I don't agree with the hate. That's not okay either. Yeah, the, the, everybody put her on blast. Yeah. And they're playing this video of her kissing a girl and stuff and saying, oh, look at this. I thought you're supposed. I thought it was supposed to be 2024, and 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 there's lesbians. Yes, I'm a Christian, and I'm saying this. It's 2024. Why are you condemning? I thought it was negative to condemn something like that, a woman kissing a woman. It's lesbianism. But yet they all condemned her for it. Yeah, oh. that's what I'm saying. I would I would expect like Pat Robertson. I mean, go, they may have said it. The reason why they were bashing her was because of this music thing. But th on the videos, they were just bashing her lesbianism. That's crazy. We've watched like yeah. three videos on JoJo's You're right. Siwa. That's what I'm saying. They here. weren't even, they didn't even talk about that. No. Instead, they were talking about her lesbianism. Lesbianism. It, wouldn't it be against terms of service of YouTube to, to even have that type of content that's that's bullying lesbianism? That's against the LGBTQ. That It doesn't make any sense at all. They just pick people to victimize and put on a pedestal and tell you, throw a fucking tomato at them. They're uh, bad people. And then what do you do? You throw tomatoes at them because you were told to throw tomatoes at them. And love them, hate them, think he's... The Messiah or the devil, Donald Trump, is absolutely a perfect example of that right now. Yeah. He is put on display every day in a courtroom looking miserable and cold and shitting his pants. And making the courtroom smell noxiously horrible with his farts and shit. But he's the 10 minutes hate right now. Look at him. He's a sack of shit. Look at him. He's the boogeyman. He is the enemy. Bad man. And that's... I don't buy that shit. When are people ever going to look beyond this black and white paradigm? Yeah, it is. It's great. It's definitely great. Yeah. We Did didn't... I see that? No. Okay, that's awesome. You can't see it. No. Uh, I saw your message pop up, but I couldn't get... Oh, I'm sorry. Jesus loves sinners. He walked with sinners. Bullying them is pointless. They're still God's children. Exactly. And I don't believe it's a salvation issue being homosexual. I just don't. This is all about JoJo saying she invented gay pop. Okay. No, that would be Jeffree Star. But anyway... No! No, that is not true. I don't know nothing about that. That would be... The queen herself, Cher. RuPaul. Cher. No, gay pop, RuPaul. Do you believe in life after love? Gay pop. Cher is not gay. But that's like the big gay anthem, though, the belief song. So 
the gay anthem. RuPaul was before that song. Anyway. I guess so. No, Freddie Mercury, Elton John. Dissection girl, you are correct. Freddie Mercury and Elton John. Yeah. That's some good answers. Gay pop. Yeah. 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 Whatever. Let her have her own thing. I, I just so It's so fucking petty. I'm like the queen of, of gay pop. Who cares if she said that? It's so petty. Why can't she say that? Yeah, why can't she say that? Why? Nobody's using that, really, are they? I'm the queen of gay pop. Yeah, go for it. Madonna's the queen of pop. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But apparently she was supposed to have passed that with the kiss that she gave Britney to Britney. Yeah, and what did they make Britney? A freaking joke. Well, I don't even know what that is. Hope her ankle gets better, though. That looked like a bad sprained ankle, man. Who cares about any of it? Yeah, I know. It's so stupid and petty. These people make big deals. This is what I'm trying to say. These people make these big deals out of these little things and make a bunch of people hate you over little stupid petty things. Mm -hmm. and, and and these th their audience can't even differentiate or be self-aware enough to realize how m emotionally manipulated they've been to hate on people. Yeah. That's real accurate. And I, I, I just, I see it every day with countless celebrities and females. Mm -hmm. And it's mostly females. It's, you barely see a man get, uh, get put on blast. Mm -hmm. Barely. Well, Trump's number one. I don't care what anyone Yeah, says. but he's a bitch anyway who wears makeup and, you know, likes girly shit anyway. So it doesn't really matter with Trump. He's pretty much a girl in a male skin so okay he's not a real good man to look at and be like oh that's the pinnacle of malehood not well, really who, who is them jesus okay who's the pinnacle of malehood jesus jesus I'm like, I don't know about that, any of that. That Jesus is the pinnacle of male? No, 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 no. The, oh. the Trump makeup deal that you said. Why? He, he he does wear makeup. Yeah. He's a fucking girl. He puts on foundation to look like he's tan, and that's really stupid. Yeah, he's a fucking girl. Girls wear makeup to to look like they're tan, too. Trump is very feminine. <laughs> Fair enough, man. I damn <laughs> Donnie the femme. Damn. Okay. You want to look at man Trump? Go look at Putin. He wear he rides a fucking horse barebacked with a shirt off. What about Jeffrey Star? Jeffree Star's an alien, and he'd agree with me over that. Yeah, he's, that, yeah. He's, like, from Andromeda or something. Yeah, Jeffree Star is neither male or female. Jeffree Star is just Jeffree Star. He would be probably just, just he would, they are who they are. Jeffree Star under Donald Trump's arm? What in the name of God? That's. Every actor in Hollywood wears makeup, and every right. actor in Hollywood is said to be under the gadar. Every, every, every actor. You now. gotta you're give. Saying, wait, look, listen. Beth, you're so Kevin late. Smith wait. said, in order to get a movie, you have to give head. Jeffrey identifies as male. That's true. And alien. Well, he would, like, say, like, flippantly, yeah, I'm an alien. He's also said he has a vagina. I don't know if that's true or oh, not. Oh, my God. But I am interested if that is true or that's not. That's insane. Wow. Uh -huh. All actors and presidents are gay? Yeah, Rainbow Ronnie. <laughs> oh, 
Man, they're all taking their turns in the Bohemian Grove, don't you know? Ew. Ugh. <laughs> God. No more. Ew. See, it's not so much about being gay as it is about their religion. Yeah. Their, their Crowleyan Satanism. Yeah, it's crazy today. I, yeah, I don't know what to say at that point. They think getting it up your tailpipe gives you magic powers, okay? I don't know how getting it up your tailpipe is going to give you magic powers, but these people think that. Did Jeffree Star have a vagina? I've heard that. He said it. He said he got it for name. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right. I don't know if it's okay, true. Okay, all right, babe, but he maybe just said that. Yeah, like, tongue a tongue in cheek. cheek. Yeah. He would exactly. do that. He'd be the type to do that. I know. Maybe he did though. Maybe he got bottom surgery. Or maybe he got a vagina added somehow. Maybe under the gooch or something? Yeah, maybe pick up the nut sack and there's a hole there. So what the fuck? All right, we're done there. <laughs> That's it. You create like a flesh pocket on, in your taint. And it's a pussy. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about even? Jeffree Star. I know that. But... <laughs> it's Jeffree Star. Wow, he'd like that. Regardless of what he's got going on down there, he'd like that. Oh, I love Jeffree Star, yeah, you know it. Uh, he would be one of the funnest guys to hang out with. Oh, definitely. So fun, because he's such a nice person. Kanye had a ball with him, right. or two. Well, all right. <laughs> Put a ball or two in his fucking mouth, yeah. <laughs> Sucking on Kanye nuts. Yeah, this is... Jeffrey isn't trans, though. That's the thing. You're right, Toon Bear. That's the crazy part. What the hell? Why did Why did Jeffrey say that, though? Technically, men were the first to wear makeup along with high heels. That's true. In theater, right? Mm-hmm. In theater. The British men love to put on a little makeup and look a little pretty. Kabuki theater. Yeah, that too. Sure. Yeah, why is this why is this a big deal to anyone? This cross dressing and all this stuff. I don't know. Why is it a big deal? I don't know. I look and sound extremely high. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. God, I wish I was at this point. <laughs> I ain't high Neocat goddess. I don't know. He don't uh, say crazy stuff, so he could have been trolling when he said it. Yeah, he could have. Yeah. He 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 definitely like. He said it. it to Shane Dawson. It was during the conspiracy theory ballot. Yeah, thing. he's probably messing. You remember when um, Jeffrey Star did the boy look for a day and sounded like. You don't remember that video of Shane? When I don't he know. Did a boy look on Jeffrey? I think it was said on that Boy, one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that really, the thought of that. I'm curious. We just have an extra hole be made. Hey. In the taint area. It's crazy. Jeffrey's had a lot of plastic surgery. You just don't know. You think it's a fad for attention, the cross-dressing thing? Yeah, but it's always been a thing. That's the thing. You know what I mean? They were doing this in British theater. In Kabuki theater. In Kabuki theater, exactly. It's been a thing for ever long time. So why is it such a big issue now we're going, oh, because, because you got drag queen stuff in the schools? Yeah, that's weird to me. I didn't see people get harmed by Mrs. Doubtfire. I don't care. Mrs. Doubtfire wasn't in school. Why? 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 Why well, is that in school? Neither. 
drag queen story hour usually isn't in school. It's usually in a library. So why are they doing that? Because they want to go and interact with kids and do something nice for the community. That's why. Oh, okay. Nah, that's weird. If you're a grown man and you I don't want think a cross it's dress, there's no problem with that. If you're transsexual, there's no problem with that. But why why are you putting this shit in our school? I loved why? Mrs. Doubtfire. I know. It's a great movie. We did not get harmed by Mrs. Doubtfire or the Birdcage or Two on Foo or any of those other drag queen movies we saw when we were kids. We did not get harmed by it. So drag why would a drag queen reading a book harm a child? Yeah, they dress appropriately and read stories to children. Yes, it was like that because originally women weren't allowed to be entertaining men. They had to dress female roles. Yeah. Then it became a fetish. Yep. It's weird now because you're still in the process of normalizing it. If it harms no one, let's make it normal. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree with that completely too. Yeah. It, to me, it's like drag queens are very exaggerated clown-like makeup. So to me, it's like a clown fucking reading a book to a kid. Yeah. It's equivalent to that to me. Yeah. If they're just going to a library for a community service to read to children, that's fine. Yeah. I don't see any problem in that. But the school... Why? But that doesn't happen in the schools, though. But, you know, there's curriculums that are starting to get in there about this stuff. We're, I don't know why you're doing that. I'm. That's all I'm saying. Probably because these people exist and instead of bringing Well, then put it in a social course. Ignorance. Well, I think that's what it is. Uh, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. They don't go to school. Okay. But... Yeah, just go into a library and, and, and read to kids. If if, if their parents are there are okay with it, yeah. then what's the deal? I don't see the problem. They're not manipulating your kids to be gay or whatever. That's stupid. I certainly don't think there should be legislation over something that's harmless as a as dressing up and reading a book. <laughs> Holy crap, there's a lot worse things people could put their focus on than reading a book dressed up and looking like a dame. That's true. Instead, let's let's promote cops and robbers to our children. Let's promote uh Indians and cowboys to our children. Let's 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 make our child into a cop, a a, a military guy let's let's teach our children that it's okay to kill people and then we'll say that the the guys wearing the dresses reading the books to the little kids they're the dangerous ones to society not the ones that are murdering people yeah i hear what you said i'd listen to you on this on penny you seem to know what you're talking about uh i'd agree with that it, it, it is needed because there are people that feel this way so yeah I completely agree with that. My son is one of them. Yeah. Well, he's not trans, but... No, he's not. But he is part of the LGBT. Yeah. And I, I'm glad that he's being around other people who are part of the LGBT, because they're going to protect him from ignorant idiots. Exactly, Neocat. School shootings actually hurts children, but Republicans never want to fix gun laws. Exactly. Exactly. But the drag queens, they're the worst part <laughs> to, to harm in children, not the school shootings. Well, it's they, the drag queens. Yeah, Republican, We need legislation on the drag queens, not the guns. But a Republican that does actually feel that way would say, yeah, it's a spiritual thing. It's worse than guns. You know, and I'd I'd go look at them and I say you're full of shit mm -hmm. because murdering people is a lot worse than a dude dressed in a dress and reading a book. I think that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. It just is. I think it's much more egregious that we think it's okay to teach our kids that our government uh, should have the ability to go into foreign nations when they want to and be a policeman to the globe. That's offensive as fuck to me. 
the Pax Americana bullshit. Like, that's ridiculous. We're just a sovereign nation. We shouldn't have the right to be the policemen of the fucking globe. That's nuts. Exactly. And that's why we're fucked. Yep. Uh, because we overspent. We spent we spread our shit way too thin. Yep. And now the global bankers go, Yeah, you gotta pay. You're fucked. And we did it to you. Worse than killing kids, Republicans are crazy. Yeah, I know they are. They are. And I am one. Like the like those Tennessee lawmakers who kicked those two black men out of the Senate. Uh huh. That was for, blatant for racism. gun laws. That was blatant yeah, racism. Exactly, blatant, it was blatant racism. They were two young black guys. Mm -hmm. That was blatant racism. We had a worst school shooting. Eighteen year old, uh, mentally unstable. His parents bought him a gun. Oh my god, I'm sorry. That's horrible. Why you buy your kids guns, man? Oh my God, I'd rather crazy. buy my son a dress than a gun. Yeah, I totally agree with that. You know that JoJo Siwa dress? Well, you could have that. Not a gun, though. He wouldn't yeah. want a gun anyway. No, he wouldn't. He would never want a gun. He don't even like Nerf guns. No. Your, your boys he, are very, very peaceful. He don't like mm -hmm. violent. They don't like violence, and they mm -hmm. don't like drugs or alcohol or anything like that. Mm -hmm. They're totally straight-laced. Very straight laced. Good kids. Do my sons watch? Um, no. No. Absolutely not. No, they don't, Dissection Girl. No. No. They don't want any part of any of this. No, they rather just talk to me. Yeah, they talk to us privately. Yeah. They do not watch. What? No. Kids. Well, here's your PSA. Rev and Shani, real Rev and Shani channel on the Instagram is not for kids. There's a problem. There's a gun okay. law that needs to be done. No one should be able to purchase you a gun. Another person a gun. Well, that's technically illegal. I... It needs to be in your name in some way if you have ownership. Yeah, no one can touch it but you. That's the way it's supposed to be. Yes. You can't buy your child a gun. That's... And then he shoots up a school. Good job. Th those parents need the to be charged. The kid was 18, though. That's the thing. But the kid, the parents need to be charged because they I agree. Them. They were an accessory. They too. knew he was unstable. Did but they? they bought him a gun anyway. Have you heard about this story? I didn't hear anything about this. Jesus. That's awful. I didn't hear nothing about this, so I don't know. That's why they got 10 years. Oh, they got 10 years in prison. Okay. We, uh, we want to start a new podcast, and we probably will when we get equipment. And internet service. Shark Tank? Okay. Uh, that's... I, I, oh, my God. No, that's unhealthy, man. That's not healthy. You can have a gun culture in your family, but that's when really... you're more worried about the drag queen than the gun in your child's hands. Yeah. You have a fucking problem. Your priorities are really messed up. If you're worried about that, go on the Sam Hyde show. I don't know who that is. Dissection girl. Sorry. That's that's insane. This is insane. Just do celebrity news. You get I have an interest in that. You know, I I mean, I I might seem like I do, but it's just tangential stuff. I no, I would probably be doing prophecy videos, man. No child should ever be told that, uh, someone that can destroy a life. Uh, neither adult, no adult either. In yeah. my opinion, yeah. Yeah, that's true. He's a YouTuber. Okay. Uh, uh. Nah. Why the hell do we, Who the fuck wants to talk to me other than somebody that wants to predatorily make money on my fucking face? For for what reason? You know? Weren't you guys Republican just wondering what changed your minds? I never was Republican. I am a registered Republican. 
<laughs> I'm. I am a registered Republican. I haven't been registered in years, but when I was registered, it was non-affiliated. Now, if you're saying, oh, you're a Republican, you support Trump, no. But I have changed a little on this. I would not discourage people to vote for Trump if they want to. I would. She would. We divide here. Because his moral she... character is horrible. Yes. James and Jennifer Crumbly's got 10 years. He got life without parole. Four kids died and was random. That's disgusting, Deanna. How? Huh, because Deanna. you bought your child a gun. That, Is it worth it now, parents? No, Second Amendment needs to just be stricken because it's been uh, misused. Uh, and, and the citizenry of this country is not uh, responsible enough, mentally stable enough to have Amen. ownership of firearms. I believe that. I believe that. Okay, and I'm not a hypocrite. Strike the Second Amendment. I will say out of my mouth, I am not mentally stable enough to have a gun. Sure. BPD people shouldn't. No. No BPD person should. No, ever. we have too high of a suicide rate for that to happen. Yeah, exactly. One out of ten people who have my condition, BPD, borderline oh. personality disorder, end up suicide. That's no good, man. Mm -mm. It's one of the mental disorders that has the highest suicide rate, mm -hmm. so. What's the highest, highest? It might be. It might, it might be BPD, actually. Probably is, actually. That's a very high percentage of people. Yeah. That, 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 that self-terminate. That doesn't count for the attempts. The nine attempt. out of, nine out of one. Or nine out, nine out of ten people. Try it. Try it. Nine Attempt out of ten. It, yeah. That's that's got to be the highest rate. It's pretty high. It has to be. So when you're messing with someone with BPD, just know you could be contributing to their death. He had issues at school. They called the parents that the, the day it happened. They said that uh, they had to go back to work. It happened an hour later. My best friend has BPD. It's horribly under uh, supported worldwide it seems it is do they not fully understand it yet Chem uh, the people who understand. study it understand it yeah. but society as a whole makes so it, it is understood it's an understood dis mental disorder pretty much it's it's understood yeah uh -huh. but the people uh, there is don't get a you. stereotype and that you're violent a yeah yeah. And they, that you see that with the cops. Yeah. Yes. But they're getting really good. They now. make it they in, in, instead of um hard to treat. You know, making it look like it's a mental illness, instead they moralize it and make it look like people who have BPD you know, are are evil and liars and manipulators and all this other bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> that's true penny because there's so much information out there and it is readily available you can literally just type something in a google and if you spend about an hour looking at the pages you're going to have an idea about it mm -hmm. <laughs> like i did for female anatomy moving on jesus christ <laughs> sorry I had to say it. It was in my head and I had to say it. I'm sorry. You love the whammons. Mm -hmm. A lot. <laughs> You're cool. You're cool. You're really cool beans. <laughs> I say it and I mean it. It's the greatest creation of God is females. That's it. Full stop, there's not even... And yet we are so abused. There's absolutely no... Yeah, you are. And that's the biggest problem on the planet. I say it. My friend was confident enough to tell me it's exactly what I did and our communication is great. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But dude... Uh, 
mental illness is so nuanced. Everything's nuanced. Because you could have two BPD people that are completely different. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's not a monolith thing either. No. You can strike the Second Amendment because of some wacko. You're... I just, I don't think people should have guns. I Google BPD, not coochie like you, Rev. Oh, I got it. Uh. Hi, proud patriot. Yeah, that's what I did, man. I figured that out. And it works. <laughs> she knows. I'm a tired girl. You're a tired girl? Mm -hmm. My energy is now fully depleted. I get you. <laughs> well, all right. We love you, proud patriot. I hope you're doing well. Uh, exactly. It would be wrong of me to assume Shani is like my friend, but I have some of the basic knowledge just to be, not be a dick. Oh, you're, you're sweet, Penny. Thank That's, you. You're very sweet. Sorry, but women should open carry whenever possible. Hey, in a in in a society where mental illness isn't rampant, I would agree. Mental illness is absolutely replete out here. So you're going to put guns in the hands of some of these people? No, you at least need to have mental health background checks for a person that I wants think, to buy a gun. I think before you someone must have that. I think before someone gets a gets a gun, they should have, go through a mental health background check. Yes. And get a, a full psychological... Um, and, and, and you're going to be waiting a, probably a month for a gun. You should. I agree. Do you realize how bad we're pissing people off that are Second Amendment and, I know. and go to Gander I, Mountain? I agree. You know what I mean? I agree. I had the freedom to go and get a Glock and a fucking Magnum and and And, and, and he's rifle. bipolar with schizoaffective. And I had all that in my house. And now. he can go through psychosis. Should he have a gun? No. He has psychosis sometimes. I should not have a gun. No, but I did. I had three. That's not right. And you tried to kill yourself with it, so... No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. I did not ever put it to my head and pull. Okay, well, I never you did talked that. about I it I talked about it, yeah. Because I was but... at that point. <laughs> and me? About ready to eat a bullet, yeah. I was there very depressed i'm so suicidal as a person i would it's too dangerous for me to have it it's all good proud patriot you're cool regardless guns will keep up in the wrong hands and at same as drugs that's true guns always will end up in the wrong hand unless we can come together as a planet and this is, sounds so fucking new world order but come together as a planet and say we're not going to kill each other anymore and we destroy all of our weapons in mass at the same time. Good luck with that one. Make it <sighs> make it May 1st. May 1st, 2029. Every government takes every gun and missile and tank and fucking jet, everything they have and they put it in a pile and they blow it all up. We are done killing each other. You guys ever tried gabapentin? I am on gabapentin. Yes. And we do have state insurance and we do go to therapy. Correct. And I'm sorry about the S talk, but it's something that I have to deal with sometimes. Yeah, man. Something I have to deal with every day with my disease her my disorder i have every day i have to deal with yeah that. proud patriot if that's a if that's a deal for you if that's a line that people take in your guns then i respect that that's yeah exactly you have that freedom to speak that way and i would have said the same thing you're allergic to gabapentin i am so sorry in for that. 2014 i would have said amen to what you said and said nothing else Come take my guns if you want them, motherfucking government. Mm -hmm. That's how I would have said. I would have talked like that. Now, it's mass mental illness out here. Okay? For you, you might be stable. Okay? That's fine. But I'm telling you, the vast majority, it's mass mental illness. So it's not safe to be just letting people go to Gander Mountain 
and get a background check that takes 30, less than 30 minutes. I had two guns in less than 30 minutes when I bought them. Okay. They call, okay, no warrants. No, okay. No violent crime. Done deal. You got your guns. That's not good. That's needs shame. Mental illness is rampant because there's not enough people in the mental the mental health industry. Yeah, but it's also social media. Uh, yes, that's completely manipulated people's minds into psychoses, different types of psychoses, different types of problems uh, and disorders and neuroses, making women so neurotic because their butt don't look right now because every girl's got the nice big butt on their page. I got to look that I say way. we take all our nukes and we throw it into freaking Mars to see if we can restart its atmosphere. <laughs> yeah. Elon Musk suggested it, too. So it's not just me. Huh. Let's nuke the sun. Uh, no, not I nuke the sun. Mars. Nuke Mars. Yeah, okay. I, I heard you. You nuke the atmosphere, and what it does is it cl- it creates I such yeah yeah yeah. Okay, I understand. I wrote sci-fi, honey. I understand. I know a guy that owns a gun store, and about two weeks ago, a man came in with nothing but a temporary visa, and he had to sell him. That's. No way. <laughs> that is not okay. There's no universe where that would be okay. No alien being would go, wait a minute. You're telling us that you let anybody go into a store and pick up a thing that goes boom in your hand and it can kill you. You mean you do that here? See, we're not gonna we're not hanging out with you guys. You're weird. Mankind, what can you say about them? Oi. Failure. (laughs) Why do you need Jesus? That's it. Mankind failure. Gotta have Jesus. I... We couldn't not take a fruit from a tree. That's how... That's pretty pathetic, man. Well, if you look at the Bible, the third person alive ended up killing his brother. There you go. Fucked up so fast. So fast. In this current incarnation of this flesh suit called the Homo sapien sapien, maybe the ones before uh, this model were better. Like the Atlanteans? Or Doubt whatever. it. Superior models. Doubt it. Well, yeah, because they destroyed themselves. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So they weren't better than us. No. (laughs) Whatever, man. I can't harm anyone. I don't want to. I don't want that feeling of hurting someone. Okay, I'll have this and then I gotta go. Yeah. We'll take off on YouTube after that. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm with you, Proud Patriot. Like, I was I was very, very pro-Second Amendment. That's one of the things that got me put on the map as a channel. Because when I started my show in August 2012, a podcast, I, I mentioned that I, po- I picked up some firearms, and then a bunch of my friends called uh, the authorities because they thought I was going to lose my mind and try and, like, assassinate Obama or something. So they 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 five o two'd me and put me in a place, and then I called Alex Jones and told them told him about what happened to me, and he started pimping my channel and shit, Alex. So that's kind of what put me on the map, really. It, it was over guns because I bought those guns. My friends called and they they put me in on a five o two, man. So that messed you up. Oh, it just, I didn't want to speak to any of my friends ever again. Yeah. They couldn't come to my door and say, Jay, are you like, okay, I heard you got guns or something. They they couldn't do that. 
just come to my door and say, what's up? No, I'm going to call the cops on you. And, and we're going to 502 you. We're going to put you on a mental illness hold. That's bullshit. Because I wasn't exhibiting any psychotic signs. I wasn't having any. I got guns to make a statement to say to Michael Bloomberg, who's on CNN talking to Piers Morgan, saying that we should take every police officer off the streets of New York until we ban guns in America. That's, that, that's what Michael Bloomberg said. So I went out and I bought three guns. It was in response to that fucking communist who telling me as an American that I should not have that right. I got all worked up and I got some guns. Fuck it. But that's, yeah. But Alex, yeah, he kind of took me under the wing, you could say. And he was saying, yeah, go check out this guy. You should do your channel. That's good stuff. You know, I could have got hired by him. I Thank God you didn't. You could have gone to jail to be an insurrectionist. I would have been living in fucking Austin, man. Ugh. Been living in Austin with the Austin girls, you know. Well, instead you got me, mm -hmm. so. which is cool. Hmm. I'm sorry. Shanny's sweet and she makes me feel good. How am I feeling? Tired. Yeah, I feel you on that. Tired. Under the weather because <clears throat> the tree pollen here is insane. Yeah, it's real bad. I haven't felt allergies since I was like 13 and I feel them this year. Oh, there's, it's so bad Holy this year. Holy shit, man. Whew. The vitamin D thing. Um, it'll get better over time. I I, I think I feel a little energy coming back. Um, I'll find out next time I get my weight weight if it helps with the weight loss. Um, never knew that a vitamin D deficiency could cause you to gain weight though, but no, it does. I didn't know that. Yeah. It would explain how I gained weight so fast. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I had no idea. You have it too? Totally drains you. Yeah. It really does. Like, Jason, he's like, I feel so bad for him because it's like, no, most I feel, of the day no. I'm nodding off. Don't feel bad for me. I feel horrible for you because you can't live. You're not... I want you to have a life. You take 10,000 units once a month and take 2,000 daily. They, they're they making me every week. It's 50,000 units once a week for vitamin D. 50K. Yeah, 50K. <laughs> Gotta so. be a hefty dog. Jesus, 50,000 milligrams? <laughs> yeah, I think like that's... I think I still got how many? It's a Morpheus blue pill. That's such a cool looking pill. Mint once a week. Yeah, okay. That's what I meant. Fifty thousand. Oh, so you're they're on the same thing as you, I guess. Yeah. Lost weight and have uh, way more energy. Yeah. That's that's, good. that's that's definitely a thing. There's no doubt about that. I think I've lost some weight. You probably have. I haven't been eating very much, so... Injection once a week. Okay. Maybe that's more effective, the injection. I don't care. Oh, my God. There's my answer to that. I don't care. No, yeah, and that name ain't even getting said no more. Over that. Completely. Don't care. Nope. Don't Never care. Never did in the first place. Neither did I. Neither did I. I just told you, you know that woman's a cunt? <laughs> Don't talk to my audience that way. Well, she is exactly that. Whatever.
I I ain't going anymore. That's that's as far as she was ever in my mind. Yeah. That's literally it. Yeah. That's so sad. But that's Yeah. It's about the beginning and end of that one. Yeah, pretty much. Like I just don't care. Like like they they, they this person thinks that after all of this bullshit, however many fucking huh, a year? Yeah. An entire year of the bullshit that you've done that we're just going to call, oh, hey, what's up? How you doing? Fuck you. Okay. You've exploited us for an entire fucking year. Fuck you. And your show. Your dumb shit show. Fuck you. People need to back off. You've been through enough. Yeah, thank you. I agree. I need, I, I, I need to recover. I need to heal. You need to recover. The amount of slanderous bullshit that's been done to us. Are you getting bored? You, you're not making... You, 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 the content ain't that great for you no more. Well, let's come on my show. Are you serious? And you're still what I called you. I can forgive, but I can tell people what they are, too. Yeah. I don't really even, do, not not like you, I dislike your deeds. So that's Jesus, man. I don't dislike you, I dislike your deeds. Because you're slanderous liar, filled with hate. How can you be a Christian? You can't be a Christian, you're filled with hate, man. Vitriol, piss and vinegar. That ain't the Holy Spirit. You're not having fruit of the Spirit if you're putting that trash out. Same goes for Gary. Christ don't know you. You're just slandering two people. Who? Oh my God. Nope. There is stored up wrath on that one. I ain't even talking about it anymore. The wrath of God for that guy on that issue. Wow. I wouldn't want to be him. Dad. I wouldn't want to be her. The dad spank. I wouldn't want to be any of these people, frankly. Mm-hmm. No, you got your treasures in heaven. I do. You've been persecuted and, 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 and just eviscerated by mankind. So your reward's in heaven. Amen. That's it. That Lindsey Graham said to John McCain, you know, or it was John McCain said to Lindsey Graham, well, my, our rewards are in heaven, Lindsey. <laughs> I sure do agree with that. <laughs> you know, I love the Lord. Oh, my knee hurts. You want to stretch it out? Okay. What's up, Chubby Usa Moon? Yeah, I saw that video, Dissection Girl. I, I didn't watch the video, but uh, somebody sent that to me. Yeah, Jules. Jules sent it to me, and she was like, t t she's got nothing on you guys now because she's she's she did that. I agree, okay? She, she'd probably try to say, oh, it's not the same type of thing because I wasn't calling anybody that. Yeah, okay. Good you, luck. You use the word. You're done. Done. You use the word. Welcome to the club. You use the word too. It is what it is. We're doing all right, Chubby Usa. I, I hope you're all right. Man. Get right with Christ, you know. Just get right with Jesus, because a lot, a lot of your problems are going to go away almost immediately, because you get a clarity of things that's immediate, and you're like, oh, okay, I get the light now. The light makes sense. It's Jesus. Okay. And then you move on from that, and, and, and you might feel like you're in a different universe or a different planet for a few months. If you really encounter the Holy Spirit, you're going to feel different. 
and it'll take a little getting used to, but you're going to start seeing shit, and it's like, wow, okay, so this is, the world's run on evil. Wow, okay, I get it now. We got to call the pharmacy. I got to get my prescriptions refilled. Okay. Sorry. That was random. It's 5.34, honey, I mean. It should be open. All right. The peace thing. Go that way. That other way is destruction, death, all that crap. You don't want that. You want Christ. Trust me. Blessings. <laughs>